The FJ Cruiser is a really cool vehicle and I've been a huge fan of it since the very first time that I saw one. I almost bought one about 12 years ago when I was in college and that didn't work out. But 12 years later, I finally got the FJ Cruiser and it's been a really fun vehicle to own for many reasons. It's very one of a kind. It's got some really cool, unique features to it, but it's not perfect either. And in today's video, I wanna talk about five things that I think Toyota could have done better. The first thing is that in the US market, the FJ Cruiser was never offered with the option of fog lights, which is absolutely crazy. All trucks and SUVs have the option of fog lights, let alone a vehicle like the FJ Cruiser that's an off-roading icon. Now they did offer the FJ Cruiser in several other international markets with fog lights, but here in the US, we never had that option. Next up is this silly antenna, which is constantly doing this as I'm driving down tight trails. It seems to find every single tree branch, a bush, anything that could possibly be in the way, this thing hits and you're hearing that sound constantly when you're off-roading. Now, like the fog lights, there are aftermarket solutions that are available. You can get small little antennas uh, that cut down on that length, but they look a little bit silly. It's a shame that they didn't have a nice sleek antenna up on the roof like most other vehicles do these days. Now this next one's a little bit difficult to show you because of the daylight, but I'll throw up a picture to show you what this looks like at night. On the instrument cluster of the FJ Cruiser, when we turn the headlights on, you'll see on the main instrument cluster here, it's all white. But if we go over to the middle, all of these lights are orange. So you get this really weird mix of having white on this side, orange in the middle, and just doesn't have a nice clean, flow to it. I feel like most other vehicles out there have a consistent look to them. They go all orange, they go all white, they go all blue, they go all red. But with the FJ Cruiser, we get white and orange. Now, while we're inside, that'll bring us to item number four. As you guys know, the FJ Cruiser has really bad visibility. That's actually not my fourth issue because have a vehicle that looks like this, it's going to have poor visibility. And I feel like the styling is worth the trade off. You can see back there, when you look out the back, you're not seeing a whole lot of glass lot of blind spots but the good thing is that in the modern world we have these handy things called backup cameras that really help to decrease on that visibility issue the problem is that on the fj cruiser they put in a pretty terrible backup camera go ahead and throw it into reverse and you'll see that our backup camera shows up here in the mirror so it's a really small screen you can see that the resolution is pretty bad and the reality is that most of the time this isn't really offering much benefit at all. You've really got to kind of just check your surroundings behind you before you back up, use your mirrors, which are uh, pretty decent. So I'll give them that. Uh, but it would have been really nice if they gave us a larger backup camera in the FJ Cruiser. All right, I might get a hard time for item number five because this is definitely getting a little bit nitpicky, but it's a feature that I think would have been really cool on the FJ Cruiser. It's a feature that you get on the Tundra, the Sequoia and the 4Runner and that is a roll down window here at the back. Unfortunately, the FJ Cruiser, it's not roll down. Instead, we take our key here, insert it into the keyhole. We turn it to the right, that unlocks the window here, and then we can lift it up. So um, it doesn't really offer a whole lot of benefit. The thing is on a lot of vehicles, this is a really handy feature because you don't have to open up the back to get to things. You can open up that rear glass, makes it easy to get in, get things without everything falling out. The problem in the FJ Cruiser is we've got this large rear mounted spare tire. Um, the window is pretty small, so you're up pretty high here. So to actually get in and get something out here is gonna be pretty difficult anyway. So it's not really offering a whole lot of benefit. If this was a roll down window, it'd be a really nice option when you're out driving uh, to just be able to get a little bit more air circulation into the cabin. And it's one of the coolest features that you get with those other three Toyota models. So I think it would have been really cool if they'd done the same on the FJ Cruiser. So there you go. Those are the top five things that I think Toyota could have done better on the FJ Cruiser. Very minor issues all around. And like I mentioned at the beginning, I still think it's a really cool vehicle that is definitely one of a kind. In the comments below, I'd love to get your guys' feedback. If you have other thoughts on what uh, things you maybe think Toyota could have done better with the FJ. For more Toyota videos, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.